Have you ever thought that you don't have any thoughts? Yes, I know that sentence doesn't make any sense and it also contradicts itself, but hear me out. Ever since I was a little baby, I have always portrayed my thoughts through speech or emotions that I learned from the things around me. The classic nature versus nurture. Some parts you're born with, some parts you learn as you go. Are we the way that we are because of instincts from our ancestors, the nature side, or from nurture, from what we learn around us when we're growing up, like what our parents do, how they talk, that kind of stuff. But there's something that's always like rattled my brain about this theory, is the stuff that we're born with. I think of it more as like a massive hard drive that like every computer has that's all the same information, it's not unique to an individual. It's the, I'm hungry, I should eat, I'm tired, I should sleep. The natural instincts that we have of, it's dark, I can't see, something's out there, I better run. I know most of you probably haven't come to terms with the whole running from predators thing, but I live in New Hampshire, so bobcats. Just kidding, I haven't actually been chased by a bobcat. Yet. It's only a matter of time. It's literally only a matter of time. If half of me is made up of like this automatic base of nature instincts that everyone has, and the other half is all an adaptation of my culture and what I see around me and what I've learned, have I ever actually had an original thought? Now I get that original thoughts can be possible because there's been inventions and uh, quotes, but I think that myself, me, hi Sarah, I did, have not had an original thought. So all my life so far has been schooling, which has been learning, displaying, and then forgetting because I... But it's never been like create and ponder and share. It's only been learn what's been done and then tell you what I memorized. But like also for culture things, like my standpoint on a lot of issues. So we all know murder is bad, right? Let's say in some alternate universe, murder is like mainstream. Wait, are you telling me you haven't murdered anyone yet? Shh. Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> totally have. Murderer. Like I honestly wonder how I would feel about it. I like to think that me, like my myself, not instinct, not like nature, nurture, culture, know that murder is bad because of just like the kind of person I am. If that or something like that was mainstream and uh, it was like normal and it was thought of as okay, I seriously wonder if me, I would be like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Because Right now, obviously, I'm like, no, that's not cool to murder someone, you know? If that was what I learned when I was growing up, I wonder if I would still have the original thought, like just me with no evidence from culture, to know that it's a bad thing, or if the only reason I think that is because of what I like gathered from around me. So basically they say that the whole nurture part of it is that you uh, experience things and you yourself as a person take those things and form into the person you are. But I, I'm kind of wondering if, I, if I'm a person yet. Do you know what I mean? Like I think I might just be too young or too like not experienced enough to have original thoughts about things, like to know in my soul that I think this about this. The only thing I'm really certain about is like my preference. Like I like chocolate. Chocolate tastes really good. But I kind of think of that as that's like my body, like my taste buds like chocolate. But I'm talking about like my consciousness. So there I was laying in my room coming to the conclusion that I don't exist. So if I was here and I had no natural instincts and I had no evidence of culture and you just sat me in a white room, what would I do? Like what would I think? I guess language is a part of culture and that you can't really just have language without culture because the words mean stuff in culture. And I haven't thought, I haven't thought too much about this because like, my brain right now is, it's not at the boiling point, but it's just like just under, so it hasn't, it hasn't quite melted yet, but it's like getting pretty steamy. Like, do I even exist or am I just a contemplation of like a mass 
mindset of ancestral urges and pop culture fads like like Miley Cyrus. Who am I? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little spiel. If you did or you want to see more, I heard there's a couple buttons down below. Pretty fun to click if you'd like. 